and we're back. So, uh, last time we were talking about how Gilgamesh is planning on returning with, with the corpse of Humbaba with a bunch of cedars, and he's going to take control of eternal time and make two New Year's festivals in one year, because he's going to be immortal. Um, and to read it one more time, on my return I will celebrate the new year twice over. I will celebrate the festival twice in the year. Let the festival take place. Let the merriment begin. Let the drum sound before wild cow noon sun. Ankudu Ankh offered counsel to the elders and the young man of Uruk who understood combat. Tell him not to go to the forest of the cedar. That is a journey which must not be made. That is a man who must not be looked on. He who guards the forest of the cedar. His reach is wide. Don't do this thing. Stop seeking immortality. Let the forest be. This is Humbaba. His voice is the deluge. His speech is fire. His breath is death. He hears the forest murmur at sixty years distance, at sixty leagues distance. Who is there who would venture into his forest? I love the use of repetition in this in this poem, because you have to remember that it was all recited orally. That's why I'm reading it to you also, because you need to absorb this poem orally. It can't be something that you read, right? And the reason why you need to absorb it orally, orally, or you know, maybe it's the reason why, or or the cause of, but it has this 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 rhythm to it, this repetition to it, and you repeat it and you remember it, and you get these images in your head that are just so striking. This is Humbaba. His voice is the deluge. His speech is fire. His breath is death. He hears the forest murmur at 60 leagues distance. Who is there would venture into his forest? His voice is the deluge. That's an interesting theme. We're going to return to that theme in Tab when they actually start fighting Humbaba. There's a long history of deluge and deluge demons. So Noah, Noah and Noah's Ark is sort of the, the Abrahamic inheritor of this deluge story. Um, I'll talk about the deluge story a bit more later, but deluge is also linked with the feminine principle, the waters. Uh, you know, the great female waters will... Maybe maybe after I do Gilgamesh, I'll do Marduk's battle with Tiamat. That'd be good. Um, yeah, so there's a long there's a long history of, of deluge stories uh, associated with monsters and with femininity, and uh, we will return to that in a moment. Uh, this is Humbaba. His voice is the deluge. His speech is fire. His breath is death. He hears the forest murmur at 60 leagues distant. Who is there would venture into his forest? Adad ranks first, and Humbaba second. Who is there who would oppose him among the Igigi? Who are the Igigi? I don't know. <laughs> so to keep safe the cedars, Anlil made his lot to terrify men. If you penetrate his forest, you are seized by tremors. The senior advisor rose. Good counsel they offered Gilgamesh. You are young, Gilgamesh, born um, along by emotion. You're young, you're emotional. All that you talk of, you don't understand. Don't go kill Humbaba. This is Humbaba. His voice is the deluge. His speech is fire. His breath is death. He hears the forest murmur at 60 leagues distant. Who is there who would venture into his forest? Don't do this, guy. Don't do it. Adad ranks first, Humbaba is second. Who is there who would oppose him among the Igigi? So keep safe the cedars. Anlil made his lot to terrify men. Anlil doesn't want the cedars to be cut down. <laughs> Don't do it. Gilgamesh heard the words of the senior advisors. He looked with a laugh at Ankudu. Now, my friend, how frightened I am. I, in fear of him, shall I change my mind? He's not going to change his mind. The rest of Tablet 2, perhaps 20 lines containing Gilgamesh's replies to his counselors, is lost. So, that's the end of Tablet 2. <laughs> All right, so again, um, themes. Themes for Tablet 2. Uh, it's immortality and time. This is, this is the big question. What is immortality? What is immortality's relationship to time? What is immortality's relationship to material world? What does heroic deeds, right? Killing, what do killing the monsters and cutting down the forest have to do with conquering time and becoming immortal? <laughs> uh, is this a worthwhile pursuit? Is it going about the wrong way? Almost certainly. 
Uh, but how, how do we see our own pursuits for immortality today mirrored in, in this here? Um, right, and then there's that other hint. There's this hint about the deluge, that Humbaba, Humbaba is... Think about what Humbaba represents. So he's guarding the forest, right? He's a, he's, a for, he's a forest guardian, and his breath is the deluge. So the life breath of him are the waters of the world, waters enough to, to fill the world, right? So this is this is fertility imagery. So Humbaba is a fertility god, and he's 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 masculine, and he's given this ferocious demonic characteristic. But he's he represents fertility. He represents water and br life breath and trees. Um, so so this is this other question: what what do immortality in these forms, or you know, fertility? virility in, in these sort of like nature symbols. What do those nature symbols of fecundity have to do with our quest for immortality? And how did, you know, how did, how, how, how do you juxtapose the imagery of a garden with the imagery of like an eternal man? Um, so this is this, this feminine masculine thing again, you know, so like those fecund images are, are like immortality in a feminine sense. And then immortality in a masculine sense is this more like heroic deeds, material manipulation, science with a capital S. Um, yeah, okay, so that's, that's enough for now. I think I've given you <laughs> a lot to chew on. Um, so I'll be recording Tablet 3 uh, next week. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for watching. This is so much fun. Uh, and please do let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, it, it's really great to have, have an interaction with, with people. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm sitting and, and, and reading a story with you, and that's really great. And, and to make that feeling more real, uh, let's, let's talk about it a little bit. So I, I really want to hear what you think in the comments. So uh, let me know.